Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's a very, she's an amazing, nice girl. Amazing, nice girl. So that that's good to hear. That's good, yeah. good to hear that the Dutch are good for uh, for something. So, uh, <laughs> yep. Okay, here we are at Pluck.eu in Brussels. We're investigating all the latest startups, and here we have the startup, the startupdigest.com. The startupdigest.com. And what does it do? And Gabriel is from London, Hi. married to a Dutch woman, <laughs> or not married, has a Dutch girlfriend. And uh, but you're from New York. You live in London. I live in London. Uh, I've been there in London for about six months, and we've been curating the London Startup Digest, which started in Palo Alto. Yes which is a weekly mailer of startup events uh, in London, but we operate in over 20 cities all over the world. Yeah, so basically it's a calendar of startups, startup events. It's very simple, it's a weekly mailer that comes to your email, you sign up, you can tick all the boxes of the cities you're interested in, and you get a list of these events. And that's it, beginning, end. That's it. You get a link, you know where it is, you know what time it is, you know what day it is. But you don't do more, you don't say that my friends are going and my friends will be there or uh, that you basically can subscribe immediately to go there. Or uh, it's a new venture, so it's a new startup and we will be integrating other services in the future. Now, how many cities are there worldwide? Over 20, I think we're up to 23 now. So there's 20 free cities where you can get every Monday morning a mail, what's happening for startups in that arena from Palo Alto to Asia yeah. and there's 15,000 members in Palo Alto and 15,000 members in the rest of the world yeah it's so about 30,000 worldwide yeah. it seems too simple it seems too simple it seems is that is that and what I mean are you pitching here at plug no I'm not pitching at all I'm here to just observe the conference this is one of the com this is one of the conference you would recommend for startups to go absolutely. to absolutely and we have recommended it on the startup digest okay. so that's an interesting uh, so that that's as simple the most simplest thing so if you want to subscribe do that now you have two other companies so uh, what do you what else uh, do you do uh, I also do nothinggrinder.com which is a rapid flash development platform nothing nothing grinder nothinggrinder.com yes right. what's a rapid development platform it's for a, it's, it's a rapid development platform for flash which is uh, animated <laughs> which is uh, animated. They're root here in Belgium. They're root. Just walking through the camera, it doesn't look like it's a studio, but yeah. It's an animated web design platform, and we're uh, creating a touch enabled uh, software platform that works across uh, mobile and web browser. So, Flash is now a ruler of the browser. Um, Steve Jobs wanted dead. Uh, mobile hates it. Uh, we, actually, we, actually do about, we actually talk about that in our blog. Uh, the reason he likes HTML5 is because he has a patent on the HTML5 canvas. Uh, it is in his best interest to rule uh, information. Yeah, there, must, there must be a passionate hate. There must be a passionate hate, yeah, uh, about that he hates it so much. Yeah, there's a long history behind it. You can see more about that history at blog.nothinggrinder.com. We speak about it uh, in great detail. Well, but also, I mean, it always uses, Flash always uses 50% of my browser uh, capacity of my processor. I think it's a dog. It takes forever. It's heavy. And I want something lighter and easy. Well, so does HTML5 uh, in every other browser except for Safari. Uh, and if you, if you look at what Flash is doing now, they're, they're coming out with, in the next couple of months, a lighter version because they're partnering with OEMs, original electronic manufacturers, to run as part of the firmware so it takes up less processes. Okay, so you love Flash. Um, I, I respect Flash as a very viable software uh, choice. Any, any chance what it will do mobile? Any prediction for you? I know it are, it's gonna, there's going to be a mobile air and there's already a mobile Forever, eh? I've been waiting for that for a while. Uh, they said the first half of this year. We've spoken to Mark Doherty about it, and he said it's going to be in the first half of this year. It's and also a light flash, a light flash for mobile. Uh, flashlight, I think, is out of the cards. I think it's just going to be a flash player that runs within the browser. It, it runs uh, in, in Google's Nexus One. Uh, well, it, it, it's, it's planned. Full flash version. Yeah, yeah, it will run in Google's Nexus One. What about this flashlight thing then? They, well, they've already partnered with Nexus. Well, with Android, they've already partnered with uh, Rim uh, for for Blackberries, and they've partnered with uh, Windows 7 as well, Windows 7 Mobile. And that's not a light version. That's a full fl full fledged version. Full flash version that uh, can play extensive video and run full flash websites. Okay, so you think that uh, Flash will do fine on mobile? I think Flash is uh, definitely um, changed with the market, and I think it's listening to people's complaints about it. Let's see, okay, and the third uh, pro company? The third one is uh, for Sodash, which is an artificial intelligent Twitter client. 
artificial intelligent Twitter client. That, that sounds fascinating. What do I do with that? Uh, basically, what it does is it learns how you tweet, learns how you mention, learns how you follow, learns how you defollow, and it's basically it's for enterprise. Um, it's so you can manage a very large Twitter account for a large company. Uh, multiple pe people can use it, communicate with each other with like co tweet. It's more than like co tweet because it, you actually get a private server that uh, you're doing a constant search. You can c constantly take data that you're searching for and compile it down to. Figure out. That's an ASP. That's a uh, ASP and a SaaS uh, SaaS service, software service, or uh, it's a it's a service, or is it? How does it work? How do you buy it? It's a thinking Twitter robot that you buy. So you buy the server and you you get the client in the cloud. Oh, and how much is it? Uh, it's nine thousand pound a year. That's a uh, that's a steal. So uh, Gabriel, you do a lot of things. Thanks very much for informing us. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Nice to meet you.